Okay guys, so my skin is freshly washed. Um, skincare is done, everything looks nice and glowy. So for primer, I'm gonna use the Milk Hydro Grip. I love this stuff. If you haven't tried it before, that's fine. Any primer that you have really should work um, perfectly fine. But one thing with primer is you always wanna use a primer that is gonna work for your skin concern. So if you have large pores, you wanna get a primer that works for large pores. If you have oily skin, you wanna get a mattifying primer. So it kind of works like that, all right? I haven't done a tutorial in a while. Okay, so I am definitely gonna be fumbling. I know that. So please pardon me, um, but before I go in with my foundation, I just wanted to say that um, depending on your skin type and you know, depending on what your skin is looking like, you might want to color correct. I usually don't color correct because I feel like I don't need that extra step. Um, but if you have dark spots or like sunken under eyes, anything, anything that you feel like needs color correction, Definitely, especially for a black girl, definitely get like an orange color corrector. That is always good to use. Um, but I don't do color correction. I use my concealer as my color corrector. And I'll show you guys as I'm going into that step. But I just wanted to say that before I get into the foundation. So for foundation, I have been loving and using the Lancome. This girl, she is amazing, okay? And she's literally the perfect um, shade match for my skin type. I am in a shade 555, 55 suede. 555 suede. <laughs> 555 suede, that's my shade. For foundation, I always like to use a nice fluffy brush. I find that I like I have comfortability and control with this brush type, um, but a lot of people also like to use the Kabuki type, so which is gonna be the flat top brushes, the one that kind of looks like that, um, and that's cool. Depending on where you find the most comfort and the most control, that's what you want to go for. And over the time, I mean, I've been using this, and I love how she, I mean, the finish that she gives me. So yeah so this brush is from real techniques um i think it's called the rt 204 um this is really good and then use stippling motion and then just tap 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 and i always like to start in the lower part of my face um, my chin area my cheeks you know because i find that these areas need much more coverage as compared to the areas that i have up here And this foundation literally looks like my skin. I don't know what else to say. Like, I have the foundation on. And it literally looks like my skin. So that's amazing. So next, I'm going to go in with my concealer. For concealer, I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me. I've been using this girl for a while. I love her. She's literally my favorite everyday makeup um, concealer. You know, and I kind of use this to color correct. So this is very close to my skin shade. And when I put it on, it might not look like that, but don't come for me, all right? When I blend it, it will look like that. So to blend my concealer, I'm gonna use this brush right here. This is also a brush from Real Techniques. This is a concealer brush. Um, RT421 I will leave all of that down below if you guys care to know um, but I really like the make of this and as you guys can obviously see I like to use a lot of like fluffy brushes as compared to flat top brushes because they work a lot more better for me okay I'm more comfortable with that so with makeup you always want to use products that make you comfortable and see how seamless that blend looks. You know, you pretty much cannot even tell that I haven't used a beauty blender over it. Um, so I use my brush and then I use my beauty blender to go over it to give it a nice smooth finish. And if you're wondering why I use a concealer around my lip, I have dark areas around my lip. I feel like I have hyperpigmentation around my lip. I don't know if that's a thing, but I feel like I do. And whenever I put a concealer around my lip, it definitely helps all the products look even. And when I put a lipstick on, it looks even better. So. And I just wanted to say that for your under eye concealer, try to keep it right 
I don't know how to put it, but for your under eye concealer, you always want to try to keep it in this direction. So when you're blending the one here, the one directly under your eye, you don't want to drag it too much onto your cheek area because then it gives the whole illusion that you have like really big cheeks or you have like chunky cheeks <laughs> and you don't want to give that impression. So you want to give the impression of having like a nice slim, you know, it's makeup is always trying to give the impression of something if you like it or not. That's literally just the truth. Okay. So, um, you always want to keep the concealer right here and then keep it right at another eye. You don't have to drag it onto your cheekbone and then your cheek area because that defeats the whole purpose. So keep it right in this like asymmetrical um, style just so that you have the coverage and everything that you're looking for. And then it also helps to make you, you know, give you that nice lifted look. And then when you put your contour, your blush, everything is just nicely layered. So next I'm gonna go in with my blush. Um, I'm using the cream blush from Fenty Beauty. This particular, I don't know why, I can't say brush or blush today. For the love of my life, I can't say anything today anyway. So this blush is like more of an orange toned blush. I love orange blushes because I feel like they work a lot better on dark skinned girls. Um, but I've also really been loving cream blushes as of late, so yeah <laughs> so i'm gonna go in with a blush brush that's so hard to say um but this is the elf blush brush and i guess it's meant for powder powder blushes goodness why <laughs> and i love this blush i love the coverage i love that even though it's cream it doesn't make you look like super glowy and everything and you can definitely pair it with powders and it doesn't exactly stand out in a way that look bad you know what i'm saying it's such a beautiful blush and the way i like to layer my blush is so i put it on my cheek and then i take it all the way up here so right underneath where i have so right underneath where you're going to put your highlighter or right underneath your cheekbone you want to put the blush in that area some people don't like to drag it um all the way up here but making it i mean i mean dragging it up up like that or like taking it up like that definitely makes it look a lot nicer if you ask me um, but you could also keep it on your cheeks really whatever looks good on you Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with another concealer. This is the Born This Way Ethereal Light Concealer. Now basically what I'm doing here is trying to layer my concealer to give me more coverage. And then also, you know, just that nice under eye definition. You guys will see what I mean when I'm done. But what you wanna do is you wanna take the concealer that is very close to your skin shade, which you already put on, and then take one that is kind of light okay i'm not gonna lie light um, but i like something that is nice and like warm enough for my skin tone and what i do is that i just keep it in this area like so and then i just do the same for here and what this is gonna do is it's just gonna give you that nice bright under eye now another thing is you want to keep it right in that area so I'm just going to focus it in this area right here and try as much as possible not to drag it along so much. So you guys see, yeah, keep it right here. So it's going to give you that nice bright under eye without looking too much under the eye, <laughs> if you get what I'm saying. So it's not going to look like you have a lot of products on because you know, the blending is seamless, but also it's because you kept it focused under your eye and it's not like, a lot of products sitting no we don't want to do that so the blending is always key and then i'm just going to use my beauty blender to just soften that you know make sure i don't have any harsh lines also make sure that it blends in nicely with the blush so that it doesn't look like two borrowing sisters <laughs> and that's the vibe she's going to be giving i love it this is what i've been doing I've been doing this as of late and I'm like, mm. 
two concealers is definitely the way to go okay two concealers is definitely the way to go I'm um, using one as like a color corrector and then putting a lighter shade over that just definitely gives you a much nicer under eye so I love it okay so next I'm gonna go ahead and contour um, to contour I'm using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation the whole nine yards um, but this is in the shade ebony I love this particular powder it's literally the perfect um, it's buildable so you can decide to go ham or you could decide to you know be very lightweight now this is the brush that I like to use um, for my contour and as you guys can see it's also fluffy so like I said I like my fluffy brushes they're definitely my girls but I'm gonna go ahead and contour so I'm just keeping that in the perimeters of my face and then I'm the, I'm gonna build the color now this is the part where you can give the illusion of like a small forehead because if you have your concealer in this area you want to keep your blush right around the concealer in ways where um, in like ways where it gives you the shadow around the concealer and then you have that little bright spot right here so again makeup is a lot about like creating that illusion and then I'm just gonna take what's left on the brush to try to clean up my nose because as you guys can see it kind of looks already contoured because of the way I placed my concealers so that is always key I don't really I'm not really the nose contour type of person so I don't actually like do all of that jazz because I really I'm not here for it <laughs> so this is how I do my nose contour I just take what's left on the brush and then I just brush that onto the areas where I would have originally put like a nose contour product but technically I'm also like see how defined that looks because technically I'm also like contouring my nose because I'm using the contour product on my nose but I'm just not dipping and putting here I'm using just what's left okay so this is what it looks like before I put my powders on and this is all just cream 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 products and I, I mean I have put some powder on look at me goodness um, but this is what it looks like before I go ahead and set my under eye concealer and everything it looks amazing I I don't have the words like okay next I'm gonna go ahead and set my concealed areas with my Laura Mercier I love and I always say Laura Mercier cuz I'm like you know she's a little French or whatever so she's cute but before I set my under eye I'm gonna take my beauty blender because I haven't I've been doing all the other things on my face and I definitely will have some creasing under my eye cuz I haven't said that yet so you always want to go back with your beauty blender and then just press the products back in so you want to make sure that we have zero creasing okay <laughs> especially under the eye because when you put your powder over that it sticks it's stuck she stays there okay she's not going anywhere so make sure that you have a nice smooth under eye before you place mist powder because then we're smooth so so i like to set my under eye so i just like to like press the product in and see how pretty that looks yes so I always like to just set before I do anything else I find that setting first before baking or if you're not gonna bake that's fine um, but always setting your under eye first is a lot better than going ham and putting a lot of product under your eye and then I like to use what's left of the powder to just sort of like clean up my cheek contour just so that you know she's like nice and tidy <laughs> I guess or you're not like doing too much like you don't want to show like you're, you don't want to show people that you have a lot of product on but in actual sense you do have a lot of product on that's just what it is and then I'm just gonna use what's left of the powder to just like set my small lines because I deal with the worst small lines even it doesn't matter what primer I use I know so um what i'm gonna do is let me finish off my eyes you know all the other stuff and then i'll come back so that we can put our powder on all right okay guys so the next step after i do my eyeshadow and everything would be to use 
a much lighter powder so I'm gonna kind of bake but not actually baking if you get what I'm saying basically what I do with this is I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and just pick some of that product so I'm gonna use that powder to go directly under my eye and I like to use it right here so right here right under my eye I'm not gonna lie I'm going too like I'm going too much inside but I usually like to keep it right here so you guys see the difference I prefer my under eye to look like this as compared to like that I love this finish over that so oh I know it kind of looks it doesn't even look entirely crazy to be fair but this is what it's gonna look like um, or this is what I like my under eye to look like next I'm gonna use my setting powder this is the NYX um, mattifying powder it's actually a powder foundation Wait. and the powder brush that I like to use to set my powder is this a bad girl right here it's a nice fluffy all-over powder brush this particular one is from Evita Joseph um, a Ghanaian brand I will link them down below or I will put their name down below for you guys so I dip like that try to take off the excess and then I just press it in see how different the powder makes everything looks it literally pushes everything into one beautiful bit okay so you always want to set with a powder and you want to set with a powder that is pretty much your skin shade okay like it needs to be exactly your skin shade so that way it gives you the finish that you need i dropped my highlighter and it literally broke everything fell off the pan like i'm laughing at myself because i'm like it's funny the leftover that i have here i'm just gonna use that because i don't need a lot of highlighter anyway um, for highlighter this is the brush that i use it's also a nice fluffy highlighter brush this particular one is from Evita Joseph as well. So we like that, okay? Um, but I'm gonna go in with this Take Just Small product for highlighter. And I see I don't do much. Sometimes I don't even do it at all. Like, I don't care for it. <laughs> I keep the highlighter here. So you wanna keep it right here. See where the cheekbone is? <laughs> I don't know how to like, but that right here. Above the blush, right underneath your under eye concealer, right above the blush and the contour you want to place that in the center so that she has her own space like so i also like to like fuse it into the blush so that it looks like you know a nice glowy cheek or whatever like i find that cute i find that as a like a cute vibe and then when you feel like you've used too much like i have i feel like you go in with your beauty blender and it's just sort of like press it in and that always 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 helps to make it look more toned down another thing you could do is take your powder brush and just like try to go over that and bam this like fixes everything you know it literally just tones it all the way down and just like that you have nice looking highlighter so next step is going to be setting spray now this is what is going to help eliminate the whole powdery look that we have going on so you never want to skip your setting spray okay it helps you sealing the makeup makes it look a lot more skin like and you guys can attest <laughs> you guys can literally testify to that fact right now you can see the glow and the skin everything looks nice 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 what i'm gonna do is finish off my lip just finish off the bare bits that i have to do and i'll come back show you guys what it looks like she looks entirely too cute okay um but overall this is my base routine this is what i am always doing on my instagram and when i'm not on my instagram this is what i'm still always doing um but this is the base routine that i've been using for a while i've been loving it i love the way it makes me look it definitely gives me the vibe that i want when it comes to my makeup but also still staying true to my skin tone okay 
And that's one thing that's always like important to me. I need my makeup to look like I have makeup on, but I also want to look like me. I don't want to look like a whole different person. So this is my base routine. I hope it helps. If you're a beginner, I feel like makeup can feel a little intimidating sometimes, but it's with practice. The more you keep doing makeup, the more you get better at makeup. That's just the tall and short, okay? <laughs> makeup is literally practice because i've been doing it for a long time i'm comfortable in doing a lot of steps so you need to practice 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 till you get used to certain steps until you're able to like tweak certain things to suit you but as a beginner definitely always practice um with your tools and your products and you're always and you're definitely gonna get there okay <laughs> I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to subscribe and share, you know, all of the good stuff. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>